ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट्स टेल मी कि क्या तुम्हारा ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड में पास और फेल होने का प्रोबेबिलिटी सेम है इक्वल चांस है कि यू विल पास और यू विल फेल शेखा विल यू पास और यू विल फेल एग्जैक्टली सो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट यू आर ऑल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट राइट नाउ इन दिस सेशन वुड से वी विल पास तो फिर इक्वल कैसे हुआ इनफैक्ट तो फिर सर्टन इवेंट हो गया कि तुम तो सर्टन हो पर कुछ स्टूडेंट्स है जो बॉर्डर लाइन पे है जिनका नक्की नहीं है कि वो पास होंगे कि नहीं तो क्या इक्वल चांस है पास होने का या फेल होने का कि पास होने का चांसेस ज्यादा है और फेल होने का चांसेस कम है या वैष्णवी क्या सर पास होने का चांस ज्यादा है या फेल होने का चांस ज्यादा है तुम्हारे लिए पास होने का ऑब्वियसली तो ये तो कोई अनएक्सपेक्टेड सिचुएशन हो गया कोई हेल्थ इश्यू आ गया ओके okay. कुछ ऐसा नहीं सोचा था वैसा हो गया और एग्जाम नहीं दे पाए तो फेल हो गया अदरवाइज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑलमोस्ट सर्टेन के वी आर गोइंग टू पास और मे बी मेनी आर सर्टेन के वी आर गोइंग टू स्कोर सो मच तो प्रोबेबिलिटी में हर बार आउटकम मे नॉट बी इक्वल आउटकम मे नॉट बी राइट ओवर योर आउटकम मे नॉट बी इक्वी प्रोबेबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी जो दौर चल रहा है ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का क्या है कहने से कोविड नाइनटीन यूल अग्री विथ मी कि कोविड नाइनटीन इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज नाउ इन दिस केस What happens? Say for example, one thousand low infect who are. So you know what is the mortality? Mortality, I mean, one thousand infect who are. So, us me se kitne marenge? So let's say analyze kiya humne ki around eighteen people will die. 10,000 पे अराउंड से 202 विल डाई 1 लाख पे से अराउंड 1,999 विल डाई 10 लाख में अराउंड 20,013 विल डाई तो यहां पे तब probability that the person infected with covid this virus will live or will die is it equal kya equal chance hai so in such cases okay we cannot go for our mathematical definition mathematical definition kya tha mathematical definition ne we say that we assume that rather that every outcome has equal chance of occurrence or non occurrence so we say that it is for mutually exclusive exhaustive equi probable events are you able to recall that definition where we did p a is equal to m upon n are you able to recall usme kya statement likha tha कि दे आर इक्वी प्रोबेबल ओके गो टू दैट यू कैन गो टू योर टेक्सट बुक गो टू मैथमेटिकल डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी ओवर कैन यू सी दिस डेफिनेशन ओवर योर कैन यू सी म्यूचुअली एक्सक्लूसिव एग्जॉस्टिव एंड इक्वी प्रोबेबल इक्वी प्रोबेबल का मतलब क्या है कि देर आर इक्वल चांसेस ऑफ हैपनिंग और नॉन हैपनिंग ऑफ द इवेंट यानी इफ यू रोल अर डाइस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स हर एक हर एक आउटकम का प्रोबेबिलिटी इक्वल है 
इफ यू टॉस अ कॉइन तो हर एक आउटकम यानी हेड्स और टेल्स आने का प्रोबेबिलिटी इक्वल है बट इन स्टैटिस्टिकल डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी हम वैसे सब एक्सपेरिमेंट और डेटा को को एनालाइज करना चाहते उनका प्रोबेबिलिटी फाइंड करना चाहते उन इवेंट्स का जहां पे आउटकम इज नॉट इक्वी प्रोबेबल तो दैट इज हाउ दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिकल डेफिनेशन केम इन टू द पिक्चर कि हर एक चीज का आउटकम इज नॉट इक्वल यहाँ पे वेन यू रीड दिस थियोरी यू विल रियलाइज की कैसे कैसे एग्जाम्पल दिए है कि देर आर मेनी टाइप ऑफ फिशेस इन द ह्यूज लेक ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड अ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ कैचिंग अ सर्टन टाइप ऑफ फिश वेन द फिशरमैन थ्रोज द नेट इन द लेक टू कैच द फिश फिर देर इज अ एग्जाम्पल गिवन दैट आर ट्रेडर ट्रांसपोर्ट गुड्स फ्रॉम हिज गोदाउन टू द सेल सेंटर so what is the probability that it will reach safely is it equal chance aaj main mere ghar se nikla you will jaane ke liye op road kya equal chance hai ki main pahunchunga ya nahi pahunchunga okay bahut hi negligible chance hai ki shayad main nahi pahunchu kuch aisa ho jaye hadsa ho jaye accident ho jaye otherwise we can say like otherwise to main pahunchunga hi to we can say कि इट इज अ इक्वी प्रोबेबल इवेंट तो यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज इक्वी प्रोबेबल कोरोना वायरस आया ओके उसने मेरे अंदर प्रवेश किया तो क्या चांस है कि मैं रिकवर हो जाऊंगा इज इट इक्वल चांस कि एक बार आया तो नक्की नहीं इक्वल चांस है अब बच्चे क्या जैसे तो चांसेस ऑफ सर्वाइवल आर मोर तो उसका प्रोबेबिलिटी हम कैसे फाइंड करेंगे उसके लिए वी विल यूज दिस कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिकल डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी अंडरस्टूड दिस यू अंडरस्टूड दिस एग्जांपल अब यहां पे यू विल सी कि एवरी टाइम इट कम्स अराउंड टू पर्सन एंड दैट इज एक्चुअली द मोर्टालिटी मोर्टालिटी रेट इन अवर कंट्री यू अग्री विथ मी तो यहां पर दिस एग्जाम्पल इज गिवन number of customers who are visiting the showroom and number of customer who are purchasing it is given by r so if we take this as m and this we take as n so m upon n hum karte hai so you can see all these probability comes near to 0.8 so yahan pe what is the chance that a person coming to the store is going to buy something is 0.8 understood this this is how we derive probability now let's go to the definition because this can come as a one liner okay the definition of pro probability based on relative frequency is called statistical definition of probability underline this page number 49 it is also called the empirical definition this can come in mcq the definition is stated below now what is the definition okay suppose a random experiment is repeated n times under identical condition if an event a occurs in m trials out of n trial then relative frequency m upon n of event a gives the this is an estimate of the probability are you understood what is the estimate tumne dekha ye example mein ki ye exactly 2% nahi aa raha hai okay kahin 1.8 hai kahin 2 hai kahin 1.9 hai कहीं टू है अंडरस्टूड दिस सो दिस इज एन एस्टिमेटेड ओके एस्टिमेट ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इवेंट ए पी ऑफ ए व्हेन द लार्जर एंड लार्जर वैल्यूज ऑफ एन इज टेकन देन इट देन दैट इज व्हेन एन टेंड्स टू इंफिनिटी द लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ एम अपॉन एन इज कॉल्ड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इवेंट ए इन नोटेशन 
you have to remember this ये जो इंडिया के लिए टू परसेंट का मोर्टालिटी रेट का रेशियो आया परसेंटेज आया वो कैसे आया जब नंबर ऑफ केसेस बढ़ने लगे बढ़ने लगे बढ़ने लगे बढ़ने लगे तब जाके वी वर एबल टू कंक्लूड दैट यस आउट ऑफ एवरी हंड्रेड पीपल गेटिंग इन्फेक्टेड चांसेस आर दैट टू पीपल विल डाई और नाइनटी विल सर्वाइव लेट सी दॉजिटिव साइड Agree? Agree? Now, the limiting value of ratio m upon n, when n tends to infinite value, is denoted by limit n approaches infinity. Limit ka chapter hum karenge is season me. Okay, m upon n in practice, relative frequency m upon n. Itself is taken as probability of event. यानी हम probability of event क्या लेंगे? M upon n. Now, so formula remains the same. There is no change. Only changes here. The outcomes are not equally probable. So let's see illustration number thirty six. Okay, now let's go to illustration thirty-six. The sample data obtained about marks scored by a large group of candidates appearing for a public examination of hundred marks are given in the following table. Marks and candidates are given now. You can see the marks are twenty or less, twenty-one to forty, forty-one to sixty, sixty-one to eighty, eighty-one to hundred, and number of candidates are eighty-three, one sixty-two, four ninety-six, three twenty-six, and one twenty-four. One candidate is randomly selected from those appearing for public examination. Find the probability that. This candidate has scored first less than forty-one marks, second more than sixty marks, and third marks from twenty-one to eighty. Now, first, let's find what is n. So, n denotes n denotes total. Number of candidates. Therefore, n is equal to eighty-three plus one sixty-two plus four ninety-six plus three twenty-six plus one twenty-four, which is equal to one one nine one. Therefore, n is equal to one one nine one. Now let's go to the first one. We say event A denote that selected candidate scored less than forty-one marks. therefore m is equal to number of candidates less than 41 marks which is equal to number of candidates less than 41 marks so total karo 83 plus 162 which is equal to 245 
therefore probability of a is equal to as you know it is not e outcomes are not equiprobable so we will use statistical definition so we will write p of a is equal to relative frequency for candidate scoring less than 41 marks is equal to m upon n which is 245 upon 1191 absolutely simple okay both is simple in a concept everything will be given you just have to apply the formula Okay, second one, more than 60 marks. We say even we denote more than 60 marks. So M fine curlo, more than 60 marks. So 60 is zyada. So M is 326 plus 124, which is equal to 450. Therefore, probability of B, I'm writing in short so that we can do more sums. When you do this as your homework, you write all the details as we have written in event A, which is M upon N relative frequency, which is 450 upon 1191 which is equal to 150 upon 397 third even C you know the selected candidate scores the selected candidate scores twenty one to eighty marks. M is equal to 21 to 80. 21 say leke 80. So all of these three 162. M is equal to 162 plus 496 plus 326, which is equal to do the total. 984. Therefore, probability of C is equal to M upon N, which is equal to 984 upon 1191. So let's see if we can further dilute this. So 3, 328. by 397 and so in the textbook there is a printing mistake so correct it okay 984 divided by 1191 is equal to 328 divided by 397 Got it? Okay, illustration 37, you mark it important, please. Now, in illustration 37, a factory runs in two shifts. 
Now two shifts are there. Okay, the sample data about the quality of items produced in the shift are shown in the following table. Now there are two shifts over here, shift one and shift two. Now, what type of quality? Defective items are 24 in shift one, then 46 in shift two. So total defective items are 70. Non-defective items 2176, 2754 and 4930 are total non-defective. Now if we say shift 1 make it not total manufacture kia, so 2200 is tot total what we have uh, produced and in shift 2 it is 2800. So these are the totals. So you, from this information, you can get the data regarding what were the defective items, total one, two, non-defective one, two, production of shift one, shift two, out of production of shift one, kitna defective, kitna non-defective. You can get various information. Now, one item is randomly selected from the production of the factory. First, if the item is taken from the production of a shape, then find the probability that it is defective. Then, and if, so conditional probability. And then second one is, if the item is defective, then find the probability that it is taken from the production of first shape. So what we do is, here, first of all, we write total number of items n is equal to 5000 now we take event a as the item is defective you can take event a as a production of first shift also or you can take the item is defective whatever you are comfortable okay i'll take the item is defective so what is probability of a now m is equal to defective items kitne hai what are the total defective items disha kothari yes sir what are the total defective items? The table ma apne joine su cover padenge. The defective piece. Yes, sir. Kitna defective piece ama? Total kitna defective? Seventy. Seventy. Okay, very good. Now, as you all can see, ke total defective item because you are selecting one item. As a it can be from shift 1, it can be from shift 2. So total defective items are 70. So therefore, probability of A is equal to M upon N is equal to 70 by 5000. Now event B, we take the item is taken from first shift so m is equal to bolo shreya First shift me kitna items hai? 2200. So first shift me there are you can see shift 1 2200. So 2200 is in. Therefore P of B using relative frequency M upon N is 2200 by 5000 which is equal to 22 by 50 or 11 by 25. Now, event A intersection B denote item is defective 
and is from first shift so that is m is equal to now item is defective and is from first shift ye kaun sa hai vaishnavi kitna items hai first shift mein hai aur defective bhi hai how many items 24 yes very good 24 so over your m is 24 so p of a intersection b is equal to 24 by 5000 using relative frequency you can solve it if you want Three by six twenty-five. Now, first probability of a given b. Why a given b? Because if the item is taken from shift first shift, so that is b. We have to find that it is defective. The so first a is what we have to find. So a given b. So p of a intersection b. upon p of b which is equal to 24 by 5000 upon p of b which is equal to 2200 by 5000 5000 5000 cancel 24 by 2200 which is equal to 12 by 1100 or we can further do it three by two seventy five now second second is if the item is defective then find that it is taken from production of first shift so second will be p of b given a which is equal to p of a intersection b upon p of a now as you know you have to write everything in detail okay i am writing it in short so that we can cover more sums you have to follow the textbook method now P A intersection B is twenty four by five thousand upon P of A is seventy by five thousand five thousand five thousand cancel twenty four by seventy which is equal to twelve by thirty five. Here it is seven by five hundred. Now exercise one point five, question number one. The sample data about monthly travel expense in rupees of a large group of travelers of local bus in a mega city are given. in the following table so monthly travel expenses given of for various travelers 501 to 600 600 one to 700 700 1 to 800 800 1 900 901 or more and number of travelers are given now one person from this mega city traveling by local bus is randomly selected we have to find the probability that monthly travel expense of this person will be first more than 900 second 
at the most 700 and third 601 or more but 900 or less so first let's write total number of travelers n is equal to 318 plus 432 plus 639 plus 579 plus 174 do the totals Two one four two. Is it two one four two? Okay. Now, n mil gaya first. We take event A denote what travel expense more than nine hundred. So m is equal to more than nine hundred. So that is. 900 says zyada so 901 or more is 174 so using relative frequency p of a is m upon n so 174 by 2142 is equal to 58 upon 714 we can still simplify it twenty-nine. upon 357 which is 29 by 357 now second we take event B which is at the most 700 rupees 700 so zyada se zyada 700 so m is equal to 318 plus 432 750 so probability of b is equal to m upon n which is equal to 750 by 2142 which is 125 upon 357 and then the third one C is rupees six hundred one or more, but rupees nine hundred or less. Yani six hundred and one se zyada, but no so se kam. So six hundred and one se zyada, but nine hundred or less. So total of these three, so M is equal to four thirty two. Plus six thirty nine plus five seventy nine, which is equal to four thirty two plus six thirty nine plus five seventy nine one six five zero upon two one four two, which is equal to two seventy five by three fifty seven. The probability 
of C probability of C is equal to 257, 275 by 357. Okay, now second question, the detail of sample, sir, sample inquiry of 4979 voters of a constituency are as follows. Now male, female, supporter of party A and supporter of party B. So first of all, you do the total 1319 plus 1217. So there are total males in the constituency 2536 then females 1118 plus 1325 do the total 2443 plus 2536 4979 and subcut total 4979 now Party A K supporter 1319 plus 1118 2437 and party B 2542 Let's check 2437 Perfect So 4979 total voters already given one voter is randomly selected one voter is randomly selected from this constituency now if the voter is male find the probability that he is supporter of party A so I will take even A as supporter of party A. Now N we already know is 4979. Now M is equal to supporter of party A Z kitna hai ka supporter of party A 2437. Yes, very good. 2437. So 2437. So probability of A is equal to M upon A is 2437 upon 4979. Then B. Voter is a male. Now there kitne male hai total two five three six. Yes, very good. Two five three six. So probability of B Acha may only student ko question put sakunga jinka camera on hai. Okay, so if you want to give a reply, you please on your camera. Next session ke liye dhyan mein rakna. Okay. If you want to participate, if you want to interact, you keep your cameras on. Now, next session se rakna, ye session ke questions are over. Now, probability of B is M upon N, which is equal to 2536 upon 4979. Okay. I'll ask one more question. A intersection B because conditional probability so A intersection B is what that the par person selected is supporter of party A and is a male Yeah, Hit Patel tell me what is M?
yes sir what is m party a ma pan che ane mail pan che can you tell me how many ya yeah, hai Yeah, I have unmuted you. Hey. I think there's some network problem. Okay, bolo Z. One three one nine. One three one nine. I want ye wale one three one nine. Okay, so one three one nine. So probability of A intersection B is equal to M upon N. Is equal to one three one nine upon four nine seven nine. Now first is what we have to find. If the voter is a male, find the probability. We have to find his supporter of party A. So first we have to find A given B, which is equal to probability of A intersection B. Upon probability of B, which is equal to one three one nine by four nine seven nine upon two five three six upon four nine seven nine cancel, which is one three one nine upon two five three six. Second is what? If the voter is supporter of A, find that he is a male. So he is a male is B. So probability B, we have to find given A, which is equal to probability of A intersection B upon probability of A, which is equal to. One three one nine upon four nine seven nine upon two four three seven upon four nine seven nine. So cancel one three one nine upon two four three seven. Required probability. 